Okay, there. Record. All right. And we're on. Great. All right. You look amazing. No, I don't. I had an allergic reaction yesterday and I look like an ogre, but thank you oh, so much. You're I think you look amazing. You don't have to play the social game with me anymore. Oh, <laughs> listen, we're family. As you know, who told me we are family, our person yeah. family. So we are together, girl. <laughs> No, I was so, Derek, I was so excited to talk with you today. Um, and especially on the Conspire Way Bitches podcast, because you yourself referred to some people as bitches in the house. Yes. I mean, and here's my thing. You know, I'm a gay man. And I said to the girls, I was like, hey, are you girls okay with me saying to be where? And they were all like, yeah, it's, you can say it because you're gay. Everyone else, no, no other man can say it. So I think that that's how I talk with my girls. Like at home, they call me, bitch, shut up, bitch, this. Like, that's how we talk. I call everybody so, bitch. Right. And I'm like, that's just how we are. So I was like, but you girls are bitches. Like, we're all bitches. I'm a bitch. Call me a bitch. I was like, go into DR and call me a bitch. Like, please, everyone do it. I don't care. As long, like, as, long as it's consensual bitch calling, then yes. So that's good. Yes. I'm glad that we cleared that up. Yes, and if anyone had a problem with me, I asked. I said, hey, if anyone has a problem with me ever saying something they might feel like it's offended or something like that, please let me know. And the girls are like, no, Big D, we love you. It's fine. But, you know, I woke up from Twitter and they're like, you know, reading me for Phil. So, so have you have you been on Twitter yet since you got you out of You know it, girl. I was you up all night. Why? It hasn't even been 24 hours. It, it was just one of those things as soon as they gave me the phone. Because you know how it is. You get your phone and I go, Oh my God, am I allowed to open this? Like, I don't want to get in trouble. And then when I opened the phone, my roommates, they did amazing. My roommates, Adam and Lauren did amazing. They're my children. I love them. Um, best friends for life. They did amazing. And they were making fun of me while they're being me. So I was like, great, this is something I would do. And um, when I, you know, they were like, oh, you know, there is a lot for you to catch up on. So I was like, all right, well, let me see here. And then I just went all the way back to June. Oh, and wow. I so said, I didn't get no sleep, no sleep at night. You know, we started seven, here we are, um, got, got done press last night, two 30 in the morning, but, um, stayed up and just went through it all. And for me, I was like, mm, I thought America was liking me, but I guess not. Yikes. But I said it that I came in, I wasn't here to make friends. I was here to play the game and get as far as I can. So I can win money for my mother and be able to take care of her and myself. So I was going to do what ever it took i was going to protect the cookout as i made it clear protect myself but i was dropping seeds reading people for film doing whatever i need to do it's a show who wants to sit here and watch kumba we're all getting along yeah nobody does honestly you you need to go back on the week that frenchie was hoh that week was chaos and you i can't wait to watch it it was good it's gonna be good i still haven't watched my season so you know, it's going to take a little bit, but enough of that. So since you are on Twitter and you kind of know what you came back to, and it's a lot, yeah. people, I do yeah. want to give you the opportunity to let's talk about it. Yes, um, about so I think, you know, some of the conspiracies that people have on Twitter are that they think that you don't give women the credit that the cookout women, the credit that it, they deserve in the game. Yes. So yes. I want to go through one by one, starting with Tiffany. And yes. I want you to give Tiffany credit for, you know, what you think that she did in the game. And don't Absolutely. say anything. Don't, don't play. Don't Girl, play you should know me. Credit. I don't play no games. Don't, you should know that. From the heart. So give Tiffany some credit. Yes. Let me tell you this. Tiffany gets credit for putting together that awesome plan of how we were going to match up with everyone. It was an idea that me and Xavier talked about, but Tiffany put it all together. She's like, we're going to match this up with this. You're going to match up with this. This is what we're going to do. And executed that plan and made sure she told each and every single one of us. So I am giving Tiffany credit for that because that is the conversation that was said to me. Are you okay. giving Tiffany credit for the cookout? I am not giving Tiffany credit for the cookout. That's a conspiracy. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> On the first day, each and every single individual, and Tiffany actually just said in the ET interview we just did earlier, that Big D did bring, you know, talk to all six of us. And I think that's the problem because I think people did not see that. And I understand live feeds going, we're all watching, you know, we're, we're, we're here 24 hours. But I talked to each and every single one of them besides Hannah. And I said, hey, we're all going to work together. And I, you know, I would like for us to have an understanding that we'll never vote each other out. We got each other. Let's do it. You're going to work with this one. We're going to work with that. And then Hannah actually came to me. 
and said it. And I was like, girl, I've already been around to everybody, everything. And Tiffany was the last person I talked to. And she said, well, make sure you don't forget about Hannah. Cause I was like, oh, I almost, <laughs> I almost forgot about Hannah. But Hannah came to me already. And we solidified that. Did I come up with the name? No. Xavier came up with the name when me, Tiffany and Xavier were in the kitchen. And he said, how about we call ourselves the cookout? Okay. And then that's when it all moved forward. Now, of course, I, this is big brother edits, things like that, lot, whatever. Obviously people are saying it's not there. They never saw these conversations, but even my members are saying that I started that. So it's just hard for me to, and I try my best not to react, but I'm like, guys, what do I need to lie? Like, what do I need to lie about? I was willing to put these people before my own game. I was protecting them at all costs. So that is where I'm saying I'm giving Tiffany credit too for putting the plan together. And at the end of the day, I know, and everyone knows I talked to each and every single individual when it came down to that. So you said that you put the cookout before your own game. Do you think you would have made it as far, if not farther without the cookout? No, 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 no. And I've never, I, I don't think I've ever said that. I said oh, you did it, you did it. It's just, you said that you put it before your own game. And I was like, man, I was like, would you have won? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant, I meant that well, I was there for a bigger cause. I wanted to be there to be the first African-American winner of Big Brother US. And I also wanted, if not, if not me, someone else. So that's why me and Xavier were able to make that final two deal on day one, because we saw each other and we knew what the mission was and we were crying and we had a moment and things like that. But I was, what I meant was, what I meant by that was that I was willing to go home to, for anyone. And especially Ozzy, cause I put myself on the block for her. I also did, told Derek X, Hey, if he's like, Hey, there's one person in this game who you will be a pawn for. And I was like, Ozzy, cause that was another person I was willing to protect when it came to the cookout. But no, I know I would have not got far without the cookout, you know, it, but if I would have like kept the slaughterhouse or something like that, we never know, but <laughs> I knew they were going to slaughter each other. I was like, baby, I'm going to help y'all slaughter each other. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next person. You know, I want you to give Hannah some credit. Hannah definitely gets credit. I, I don't know if I did. I, I, I hope I didn't say. I didn't no, we're just, no, we're just going. Oh. We're just going through. Oh, let's I'm, clear it. You gonna help me clear it? I'm covering all the bases. Thank you. Okay, Hannah gets credit. Hannah was very smart. She was very good at making sure um, if there was a crack or something she saw they could have messed up the cookout. She was on top of it and she was saying how we can execute this plan. She was also good at making sure when we had problems in the cookout to solve them. Hannah gets a lot of credit for that. Um, you know, and I want to say something when we're done going through everyone so I can clear it all up. But oh, yeah. Hannah gets credit for that. Um, and, you know, I know, you know, she's done more, but um, and let me say, I'm gonna say this now. The problem was because the cookout was not getting together and saying, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did that. We're playing like, you got Kylan, Tiffany, Hannah talking, you got me, Aza, you got Xavier. Like, we all never had a moment where we're like, all right, this is what we're going to do this week, how normal alliances do. It, this wasn't, is how it wasn't until like halfway through the game. They all actually all met together, which is Correct, crazy. correct. And the thing about it was because we weren't telling people, telling each other what we were doing, no one was able to say, no one was able to keep up to say, this is what I did. 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 So we were all just going off of what we did, even though if somebody be like, I didn't know you did that. You know, that's, that's the hard part. That's why when it's like, give this person credit and give this person credit, I'm always going to give each member to cook our credit, but I don't, I don't know exactly everything that someone exactly. did because we never checked in. That's why I'm like, when everyone's attacking me, I'm like, no one checked in with me besides Xavier. That's why he took me. And then Kylan halfway knew, damn, Derek did a lot. And he was manipulating and babysitting and catering to people and doing everything and manipulating and lying, entertaining to make sure we keep a distraction. And people didn't know that. And only the guys knew. And that just what it was. So uh, we're, we have two minutes left. So I want to make sure. Right. That okay, I'm sorry. I'll now, shoot it. Oz, time to give Oz some credit. Yes, Aza gets a lot of credit. Aza was able to come up with um, other plans that I was not able to see. Aza also had a good social game with talking to other people that I was not in connection with, where she was able to also cover the tracks that I was not able to um, cover. Um, but I'm definitely giving Aza credit for that. And also that girl earned to be there at the end. She won the HOH competition. And I knew I would never get rid of my friend over a man, and especially someone who was loyal to me. 
So you said that you backpacked Aza to the final three. I need yes. you to talk about this. All right. So let me talk about this. So Aza had no deals moving forward. So she didn't have no deals at the six. So she was talking about, I'm getting Kylan. I'm getting Kylan. I'm coming. And I would say, stop saying you're coming for Kylan because he wins comps. So what I'm going to do is have me. I'm going to have a conversation with Kylan and I'm going to open the door so that you guys can like smooth things around. Keep in mind, I had the alliance with the guys, the holy baby. So you're the reason so why she chose Kylan over Hannah. Because, you know, because of the fact I said, hey, this is a deal. I said, you need to make a deal with Kylan in order to go forward. So that's what I'm saying. They would have never sat there and, you know, made those deals if I didn't sit there and have a conversation with Kylan and then tell Ozzy to chill out about talking about Kylan. That's where I was saying, hey, I did that. And then on top of that, I told her about my final two with Xavier, which then she was like, oh, I want to be in the final two too. And I was like, all right, oh, go, go make that deal. So what I'm saying is that there was doors open that I was like, hey, I'm just... Going crack this door, you go ahead and do what you need to do in order to move forward. Like you were vouching for her. Yes. And I was open. That's what I meant. And keep in mind those first four, those first four weeks, the slaughterhouse, the butcher squad. She wasn't a part of those things. And I was dropping little seeds. The Whitney gate. I mean, sure, Whitney became a target. Brett came a target. I was dropping little seeds where I would just come back and be like, Oz, don't worry about it. I already took care of it. This is what's going on. And we would have you know, conversations in bed. So I was like, there was a lot that in the beginning that I felt like me and Xavier were doing where because we were checking in with each other, Aza was just here and I was just be like, oh, I did this. And she was like, yeah, that was smart. That's where I was getting at, you know, where I felt like I did more work than she did. That was just how I felt. But mm -hmm. other people felt differently, but also other people felt the same way. And I think they just didn't voice it. And just because I'm the type of person to say things, that's where I got in trouble at. But she, we were always friends. We were always honest with each other. But at the end of the day, she earned that spot. And I, that's why I didn't send her home because I could have sent her packing and I did not. Wait, when did, when could you send her packing? When Xavier did not use the power of veto. Oh. And it was my choice. No. So that's what I'm getting at. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Well, so definitely. I know people, maybe the word, maybe the words, but I felt in that moment, you have to understand we're all emotional. There's a lot going on. And I just felt like, you know, people, you know, people said, I was, I was sleeping and doing this and staring at walls. And I was just kind of like, I would just come in and she would just be sitting there and I'm like, I'm so tired. I've been up all night. Don't. But then you would sit down with her. Yes. And then I'll be like, I would sit down. Yeah. Or as people said now, nah, whatever. But I would sit down and check in with her and be like, you know, this is what I'm doing. And it was just, I felt like I was doing more. And she was taking care of Brittany a lot. And that's fine. And that was something that she contributed. But I did too. So it was just, I felt like I was doing more. And it was nothing to hurt or yeah. be hurt someone's feelings. Yeah. Well, what I've realized, I guess, now that I'm out of the house, and it, this is so true, is, you know, we might see everything on the outside, but we don't feel everything. You know what I mean? Like, and there's a difference between like, we can say that we saw this on the live feed, we saw that, but we're not feeling the same thing, that, things that y'all are feeling. So there is a little bit of a disconnect, but. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying my best to reconnect it. Yeah, I'm trying my best to, like I said, I, I love Oz. She will always be my friend at the end of the day. And I hope, you know, that, um, you know, I have apologized to her because I was like, hey girl, I don't, wanted to come out that way like me you were heated and I was like girl I'm gonna think why we should be talking this because they're gonna add this to our storyline stop it you know but we were just kind of we just kind of emotional and it was just a lot you know and when you're in that moment you just feel like I'm like damn I did this and I'm talking to X and I'm like I know he did this and we did this manipulate and me and X were checking in with each other where I was, I was just giving her little things because I wasn't putting her I didn't give her a chance to be a part of the strategy and that hindered her chances to contribute more until Brittany went home um you know week six and then I was like oh okay and then you know she was everything you know doing everything and whatever anybody can get it da, 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 da. you know she wasn't playing with her emotions no more and I was like yeah girl come on let's get it let's get everybody you know and that's where things change yeah well um I had so much fun conspiring with you thank you for your own mental health you know take take it easy on twitter but i look forward <laughs> to be a conspiring bitch with you in the future <laughs> yes conspiring bitches yes girl i'm ready thank for you, that Derek. bye, bye. bye. Congrats.